Hey everybody, I'm here today with my review of the Anycubic M3. Thanks to my wife for the unboxing. So let's check out what we got. Standard plastic UV cover. Uh, it's a little flexible, it's decently thick, so that part is good. We've got, let's see what came in the box. And standard filters, gloves. UV source, a UV source, power source. Let's see with the USB stick. I don't see any brand name on this. So hopefully that's good. I'm gonna use it, of course. Scraper, tools, plastic scraper. Screen protector accessories. I'm asking instructions. Okay, standard stuff. Let's get into let's get into the actual machine. So weight, it's pretty light. This is a plastic outer cover. Uh, comes taped. The this plate is metal. Of course, this whole assembly is metal. Let me see. This is metal. The handle is plastic, everything else is metal. It is a single rod, but nice and thick. Let's see. Doesn't seem to be any flex that I can feel, but I'll, I'll watch it carefully when it's printing just to make sure there's no Z wobble there. It feels good. That arm feels nice and strong. Let's check the build plate. Build plate has the uh, diamond etched laser pattern. I mean, I, I scrape mine all up with a metal scraper anyway. Uh, and to be honest, since I've started resin 3D printing, I don't think I've ever had a problem with adhesion on any printer ever. So I know a lot of people like the laser etched build plate. To me, it actually doesn't matter that much. Build plate is sloped and it's good. I like the way it attaches. Uh, it doesn't have one of those areas where resins are gonna pool up that you can't really clean off. Every, all the resin should run off here. That's actually pretty good. We've got the four screw leveling system, which People know, if you watch, that's what I like. Let's check the vat. Okay, it's got a max fill line, which like, oh, it's got legs. Everyone knows I really like legs. And then it's got holes for the legs to go into, so that's great. And it's got handles. So right off the bat, I'm liking the design of the vat a lot because max fill line, handles and legs. Three really easy things that I think should be on every single vat design, but for some reason they aren't. So I'm happy to see that this is, so you can safely set it down. Oh, and it is, this is metal. It is not a plastic vat. That is, that is definitely metal. So I like that. So you can just do that. So like I said, the machine is light because the, the housing is plastic. Touchscreen, standard touchscreen. I still would like to see people make these bigger unless unless the cost is really prohibitive. Um, it's got the holes here for the vat to go into. Well, this is really light. The power source in the back, USB here, on off switch here on the side as well. So even though it's even though this is plastic, a plastic housing doesn't bother me at all. It feels very solidly constructed. Uh, I do like the, the, the build plate and I do like the vat. And like I said, the machine looks good too. So now all that's left is to do the most important thing, which is to run some prints. I'll, you know, run the standard in my dwarf and uh, uh, full plate and maybe a bigger figure. And then, you know, let's see how this thing prints. Uh, let me flash the, uh, the, the um, build volume here so you can take a look and the resolution. And then I'll run the light test, some prints, and we'll talk about it. So I've done my testing. The first thing I have to mention before I forget is I missed something in the unboxing. There was actually a screen protector film in there. So for those of you who like screen protector films, there was one in there for you to uh, clean off and then apply. It even came with an alcohol wipe and everything. So that might be a little plus for some people. Uh, during the printing, uh, print it great, by the way. Now, I actually couldn't find on their site, they don't give the resolution. 
they just they just give the screen resolution itself, not the ultimate resolution. So for my just napkin math, it comes out to about 30 microns, which is pretty good. A little worse than the Sonic Mini 4K, but still 30 micron resolution is good. And it shows in the prints. Uh, so you'll, you'll look at the high res pictures, but I'm, I'm going to throw on the nerd glasses for a minute. And they, uh, this printer really picked up all the details and the uh, areas I look at on her, which are the eyes, the lips, and the, uh, the bracer on her right arm all came out nice. You see me just playing with this because I just glued her hands in and I, I moved it before the glue was dry, so whatever. Um, but anyway, she came out great. Really, really good detail. Um, and I said, I saw no Z-wobble and the printer shows no evidence of it. There's no lines in anything. Uh, everything came out nice. Uh, very crisp and clear you can like i said look at the pictures judge for yourself but uh this this really had some good results so i was uh, i was uh, happy with how it printed no z wobble uh decent construction like i said the housing is plastic so the whole thing is very light but overall the construction seems good and the price i'm gonna flash the price i believe it's 299 right now although they might have a sale going on also i have to double check for you but i was just thinking man for for 300 dollars or under you can get a really good, you know, 4K. This, uh, even though it's kind of got a decent size screen, I'll still call it a small screen printer. It's not big enough yet for me to call it mid size. But for a 4K small screen printer, uh, price is really good. It's amazing what, what we can get these days in our hobby and get incredible results, like injection molded results, maybe or, or even better. And uh, it's it's just good. So I I like the printer. I can recommend this printer. Uh, the lights, the light source test was good. There was a tiny little bit of gridding, but whenever, you, again, whenever you use parallel uh, LEDs, you always have a tiny little bit of gridding unless you collimate the light or, or do something to, to even the light out. But it, it didn't affect the prints at all. It's very minor gridding, which I have now, after reviewing, you know, 40 plus, 50 plus printers, I don't know what even it's been. Uh, I've only found gridding. I can't remember which one it was on back in the day. There was one where the gridding was severe and it mattered, but... In, in ones like this, you can look at the light source test. Uh, that gridding's not going to affect anything, as far as I can tell, at least. And, and my test prints were really good. So uh, this, this is a good little, I would call this a cheap, you know, it's an entry-level 4K printer, uh, and it does the job. You know, sol solid printer, solidly constructed. And, and again, I will reiterate that I really like um, the VAT, had all the, the three things I like, handles, feet, and a fill line, uh, the build plate, was very nice as well. And like I said, construction was good. The Z-axis didn't wobble at all. The arm holding the plate is nice and stable, metal, strong, you know, pretty thick piece. So pretty simple review. It's, it's I guess what I would call now a standard, you know, 4K printer, but it's well thought out. The machine, well done, works really well. And uh, the price seems, you know, very reasonable to me what we can get for, uh, for under $300 these days. I, I still think this whole hobby is incredibly exciting. and. And even after me having done, I don't know, like thousands and thousands of prints over my various machines and printing so much stuff, I have to admit, I'm still excited when I go to the printer and upside down that bill plate, some really badass looking minis come out perfect. It's uh, it's still like Christmas for me. I, I, I love this hobby. It's just great. So anyway, that's it for the review. Um, if any questions, post them in the comments. I'll, I'll, I'll try to answer as best I can. And... Uh, have some more videos coming very shortly. So uh, please check back. Thanks for watching and happy 3D printing.